Hi there, my name is Stacy Phillips and this is my vlog for um, Friday, November 15th, 2013. Um, today, while I was out on my run, uh, I ran three miles this morning, and you get a lot of time to think when you're out there. Um, today I was thinking about goals, and I was thinking about my goals, um, and how do I express my goals, and how do I live out my goals um, every day, because, you know, sometimes we think of goals as, um, like a far off, um, thing or entity, um, in and of itself, and, that's that can be true um for example i have a goal of running the paris marathon in and this april of 2014 um and so that's my kind of far off goal but i can't leave it way off there in the distance even though there is a date certain um my goal today is to eat on my eating plan and carry out my training schedule that I'm required to do today in order to reach my goals. So, um, so I have like, you know, goals that I'm working for, I guess you could say long-term goals, um, shorter term goals, I have immediate goals, I have daily goals. Um, and so it just really depends on what you're asking about. If you ask me about what are my goals, you know, what, how specific do you want me to get? You know, cause my goal, the, for the next two hours is to um, remain on my eating plan and do a video log. <laughs> so that's my goal in the next couple hours. But um, I'm kind of a I'm kind of a real goal person. But um, with my vlog, with my blog, um, my blog's title is goalbysummer.blogspot.com. So goal by summer, G-O-A-L-B-Y-S-U-M-M-E-R dot blogspot.com. And I remember choosing that, um, I had actually had that as a username for one of the forums that I was involved with um, years ago. And um, my, with my first, I guess, real attempt at, um, at attaining a healthy weight. And um, I had set a goal that I was going to be at my goal weight by summer. And so that was my name, goal by summer. And I kind of laugh um, now looking back at my username, I mean, what it was. Um, now it's just my blog spot name. Um, but it's really funny because um, that number, I, I've never yet achieved that number. You know, that number, that magical number. Um, and yet I'm a healthy weight and I've been living a vibrant life. I love my life. Um, and I never hit like that weight, you know, that went goal by summer, like I'm going to hit that by summer. And you know, which summer was that? Um, that was actually the summer of 07 that I, <laughs> it's just, it's humorous to me because, um, the way that my mind, you know, used to process and then to get so devastated that I wasn't going to do that. You know, I didn't hit it by 07, so it was like goal by summer 08, it's called by summer 09, you know, it's like, which summer are we talking about, um, and so, but I, I still keep it as my blog spot name, because I really love the reminder, you know, of, of, um, it is good to set a date to goals, but, um, not to be too overwhelmed, um, you know, as they say in the movie, Julia and Julie, Julie and Julia, you know, say, I love, de I love deadlines, I love, I love the sound they make when they go whooshing by, so, um, as far as my health and my weight goes, my goal is not a number. Um, it used to be a number, but it's not a number anymore. It's a range as far as a healthy weight range. Um, and I'm 5'3". I've got my BMI chart right on the wall here because this is a lot of times where I talk to clients here in my, in my little mom cave, um, my little coach cave. Uh, dual purpose, by the way, coach cave and mom cave. Um, I'm 5'3", so my healthy weight range would be a 107 to 135. So yeah, I'm within my healthy weight range, but my quote-unquote goal um, that the program had set for me was 118, and I'm not there. I haven't been there since, I want to say high school. <laughs> so... Um, but you know, in my mind, that's if I were to have a, a number, that'd be it. But I'm not devastated that I'm not there um, because I'm I'm healthy, I'm happy, I'm doing exactly what I want to do. Um, there's joy in this journey, so like there's no expiration date for me on 
attaining and maintaining optimal health um, cause, because that's what I'm after. And I'm actually there, so it really attaining and maintaining ultra health is the next step for me. And um, I'm working on that, and it's real, a real fun challenge. Um, so, you know, if you have a goal, if you have a, a, a date, a date certain that you want to be at your quote unquote number goal, uh, I challenge you to rethink that a little bit. Um, it's really, it's, it could be demoralizing if you get there and then you're not that, that, that certain weight. Um, but look at how far you've come. I mean, time's going to pass anyway. And if you're taking steps to create a healthy life in so far as you are able, um, isn't that really all we can do, you know, uh, uh, on a daily basis? Isn't that really all we can ask of ourselves is to every day say, what can I do today? Um, what kind of incremental improvement, you know, that maybe seems small, uh, because seemingly small improvements that are practiced daily produce stunning results. Uh, and just the converse is true also. Seemingly small neglects that we do every day over time produce uh, tragic results. So do you want stunning results or tragic results? Because what you do today, what you do in the time between now and you go to bed tonight is going to make a difference um, down the road if you telescope it out down the road. Um, if you could see in five years what today's choice repeated every day um, where you would be uh, and then if you had the telescoping you know choice of what if you didn't do that or if you neglected yourself in a very small way that seems small and in five years down the road where would that take you I guarantee looking at those two realities that are possible for you you're gonna want the stunning you're gonna want um, to be living the life that you are choosing to, to live then now. In a sense, your choices today, what you choose today to spend your time on, what you choose today to invest your minutes and your hours in, that is what you're going to um, be sowing the seed for of what kind of life you're going to have and what quality of life your health is going to be in, what quality of health you're going to be in, in you know one year, three years, five years, um, you know, this is a never ending process for me because when it ends, it ends. And I'm not really, you know, I'm not, I don't want to hasten that day. So, um, have a great rest of your day. Have a great weekend. Today's Friday. So hope you all are doing something fun this weekend. Um, and if you'd like to contact me, my email is Stacy Michelle Phillips at gmail.com. That's S T A C Y M I C H E L L E. Phillips, P-H-I-L-L-I-P-S, at gmail.com, and I'm a free certified health coach. I can help you get on the path to um, optimal health and really um, living your best life. So um, please email me. Uh, if you already have a coach, um, reconnect with them, uh, and, and they can help you as well. Um, uh, I, I only, at this point, I only take um, clients, new clients that are not um, in the system yet. So they don't already have a health coach. So um, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.